and I studied for 50 hours for this exam. Hello everybody. It's been, again, I say this at the beginning of every video, it's been a minute since I made a video and that is because we just had our end of block exams for microbes and immunity. So if you are new here or you just want a, a quick rundown, this was our second block of medical school. So I am a first year medical student at Vanderbilt University and our first block was HBA, which is like biochem. And then our second block was microbes and immunity, which we just finished last weekend. We had our end of block exams and I studied for fifth hours for this exam which for me is a lot because I only studied I say only I think it was a lot but I studied 200 hours for the MCAT so studying 50 hours for a medical school exam in like two weeks was a lot but we did it we made it through scores aren't out yet I don't know if I passed I think I did I feel mostly pretty good about it I know I feel really good about the essay part and the practical part I feel a little less well <laughs> about the NBME or the like the boards exams it was really tough it was like bugs and drugs so do you remember the bacteria and do you remember the drug you used to treat it and can you recognize the clinical presentation and then tell me what genome this virus has so it was a lot I feel like a lot of it was memorization where like maybe probably not super clinically relevant in all parts of my life like I'm not gonna see somebody with rotavirus and be like I think that's a double-stranded RNA virus <laughs> like I'm not going to think that in my brain um unless I'm doing clinical research and trying to develop drugs for these things which at this point is not something that I'm interested in doing overall <laughs> not to get into the weeds on like it was it helpful or not I wanted to number one just do an overview of like how things are going right now we are about to start actually we started our third block today which is a 12-week block so for the next three months we will be in this block and it doesn't end until like the very end of January so it's really gonna be like the next couple months of my life are going to be the heart and the lungs and the kidney which is gonna be super fun I'm very excited so talking about microbes and immunity um, what resources did I use my iPad came in so lots of fun stuff so let's just let's just hop into it so the first thing I would recommend let's just talk about how I studied um, to begin with so I did use sketchy micro and I think it was helpful for recognizing patterns with bacteria and viruses and like parasites and those sorts of things it wasn't super in line with exactly what our professor wanted us to know for so for like the essay portion if I would have only used sketchy I probably wouldn't have been okay on that but if I didn't use sketchy I probably wouldn't recognize anything because it's just a lot of memorization so I think sketchy was very helpful I would absolutely recommend if you try it out and think that it's helpful like it's really helpful in memorizing bugs and recognizing patterns and knowing if it's gram positive and negative based on like a memory clue which was super helpful obviously you can make those memory clues on your own for free but you probably don't have the time to do that if you're in medical school so sketchy was super helpful I know I said I was gonna use Anki and I never did I think Anki would have been super helpful I just didn't get around to making cards or unsuspending cards it just feels like a lot of extra steps when there's so much to do anyway so um, I think Anki would have been really helpful for memorizing medications and what they do because that was something and still something that I'm not super solid on so if you are looking forward to like a, mi a microbe a microbe exam or something where you need to know drugs I would I would maybe recommend Anki because it really is just straight memorization that's probably part of the reason why I don't feel super good about the NBME is just because I don't I didn't remember the difference between like itraconazole and something conazole and I'm like I'm sorry I just I've never prescribed it before I don't know <laughs> I don't know the difference <laughs> they're both for fungus I don't know so yeah I wish I would have used Anki I'm glad I used sketchy micro but for the most part I just did my normal old taking notes I took notes on paper for like the first half of the block because my iPad hadn't come in yet but what I had started doing was reviewing the lecture notes beforehand so I would read through the lecture notes take notes on the reading of the lecture notes and then I would watch the lecture with the like PowerPoint um, because PowerPoints aren't super helpful to me because there's not a lot of depth in them it's really just main points and I like reading textbooks 
um, but we don't really have them. So reading the lecture notes was really helpful. Taking notes on the lecture notes, getting really, really prepared for lecture and then watching lecture was a good way to see the information twice um, in like your first pass. So I think that was really helpful. I feel like I was really, really solid on the first group of information. And then my iPad came in, ta-da! And I have been using Notability to take notes on the PowerPoints while I am watching lecture. And then I have been transcribing those notes into just like a Notability document and writing a lot about it because writing is what's helpful for me studying and I know that so I need to keep doing it until I find something better but I think I think I'm in my groove now studying where I know that I'm gonna keep writing like I need to keep writing stuff out that's not for everybody I, again I know people who only use Anki to study I know people who don't use Anki at all um, I would like to be a person who fuses those but I still like I just can't bring myself to unsuspend cards <laughs> it's just such a chore to control J, right? So yeah, so I've been using my iPad. I, I am planning on making a video on how I'm using my iPad to study. And once once I kind of like have a grip on it, I just got it a couple weeks ago. So, but I am really loving it. I would absolutely recommend an iPad if, if you're interested in doing that. I also think that it just makes studying more fun because I like to doodle. Doodles look cooler on an iPad than they do on paper. I have been really loving the iPad, but I did do paper notes as well, um, and it worked fine. And I did, I studied for 50 hours, so I can go ahead and pull this document up and show you. I planned to study eight hours per week of information, so we had five weeks of instruction, and then the sixth week was exams. So I I planned to study eight, eight hours per week, which would have been 40 hours, and then it just ended up that I needed a little bit more time for some weeks, and then just like last minute studying, it ended up being 50 hours. So I did, I did keep track of it in um, a document kind of like this. So it just, it absolutely just looks like a bullet journal, but in iPad form, I've been living for this, the, the windows right there, but living. And then this week's schedule is so cute. Again, I am going to do a little tour of my iPod, so so don't get too excited or feel too left out. I'm not going to show you everything yet. I can't give all my secrets away. So as far as how it went, I think the essay part went really well. I feel like I was really solid on immunology, which was most of it. And then for the practical exam, so like recognizing immunology slides and different cells and tissue types, I and like inflammatory infiltrates, is it chronic, is it acute, those sorts of things. I think I did fine on that. Um, I did use Anki for that because pattern recognition with images um, is really helpful. And then the anatomy portion was on there as well. So like, do you recognize this, this artery? Do you recognize this muscle? Etc. Etc. So I think I did fine on that. The only thing that I was kind of shaky on was the NBME, which I, they're not going to tell us for a little while how we did. And I know they have the scores back already. So I'm, I'm hoping I did fine. I, I do this thing where I calculate while I'm taking the test or like as I'm doing a review, which ones I feel really, really good about and which ones I don't feel so good about. Give myself half credit for the ones that I've narrowed down to two and I'm feeling like kind of shaky on, but mostly sure. Um, one point for the ones that I'm like, I absolutely know that. And then zero points for the ones that I'm like, I, I guessed on that. And the lowest I think I got, and this is with my half credit, so this is why I'm nervous. The lowest that I got was a 75.5, which uh, if you're a pre-med, you're like, what? She got a C on something, but um, that's what you need to pass. You need a 70 to pass and then a 75 to like pass how they want you to pass. And having a 75.5 is a little too close to the line for me, but that's just my prediction, obviously. I will have to wait and see how it goes, but also I want you to know if you're watching this and you're pre-med or you are in medical school that people fail exams sometimes. It's very normal. And there, there are like procedures in place that if you do fail an exam, you can remediate and take it again. And you can also like just retake the block if you need to. So hopefully it doesn't come to that but if you if you have failed something or you don't think that it's possible that really smart people fail things in medical school it absolutely is I know a lot of people that I look up to have been like actually like I had to retake this thing or I failed an exam or 
blah, 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 blah. I failed this section of an exam, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry if you're in that boat or if you're looking forward to medical school and you don't think it happens, it really does. But I will let you know when I know my exam scores. I hope that it's soon, but it won't be. It'll be in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, uh, look out for more videos if I can manage to pull my life together, hopefully an iPad tour soon. But until then, I hope you are taking care of yourself, staying safe, and I will see you next time.